How we doing, folks? It is your boy, Marcus. Welcome back to Throwback Thursday. Basically, on this segment, we like to kick it back in, play some of the old Call of Duty games, those ones that are collected dust over there because we don't touch them anymore. And as you can probably tell right now, we're on that Black Ops. Now, this isn't my footage. I wanted to uh, I wanted to show you guys one of my buddies, Susani. He had this game from a while, 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 while back. Uh, and we looked at it the other day, just, you know, we were looking reminiscent. Uh, and I was like, you know what, man? Let me put this on a chair, man. It's a pretty good game. Uh, sorry if it bounces around a little bit every once in a while. Uh, it wasn't lagging at the time, but you know how theater mode is, man. It's, it's crazy. Uh, so there might be some people jumping up and down every once in a while. But for the most part, it's pretty damn good. Uh, and how about that dude at the beginning, man? I can't wait till we run into that fella again. Uh, that's one of the subjects I want to talk to these guys about is uh, just some of like the bad people that play, man. Um, now, this you can always have a bad game. I have plenty of bad games. I've had games where I don't get more than two kills, man. It happens. It's sad. It's humbling. But it happens. I mean, when you're playing against good people, you're probably going to have a bad game. It's okay. It's part of the game. But then there's a whole other level of players who are just... It doesn't matter who they're playing. They're just not in it to kill or just, just doing completely ludicrous things. Like that guy at the beginning that was sniping off the map. I... What... I always wanted to upload some of that footage. I'm not exactly sure if it's like legal for me to like do that. I think maybe if like, I got blur out his name, I could get away with it. But I also don't want to like humble people and humiliate people. I don't want to pick on people like that uh, and put them on YouTube on blast like that. But sometimes it leaves you scratching. Like, what was that guy doing? Like, when you get that kill and you're like, what? What the? It's, you know that free kill. There's one thing about the guy who's not even playing. He's he's a completely different Call of Duty player. I, I have never understood that. I, I guess you know every once in a while if you have to like run real quick and do an errand or I don't know if you're cooking and you have to go check on like the pot but then I don't know why you're playing Call of Duty but whatever so it's uh it's interesting uh, to say the least but then there's a whole nother level of Call of Duty player who's the guy who's actually trying but he just has absolutely no clue like what he's doing and that guy he's fun here we come look at my man right here what is this what is he doing he's if he, he, he sniped he got shot who saw he stopped shot him and then he like shot him again I don't know, man. I don't know. And there's also my other favorite guy is man who's a completely oblivious to radar guy. That guy is just loads of fun. Because that dude, he's like, all right. Like, you can go into a building. You Say there's two floors. You go into the building. You clear out the bottom. And you're going up top and you shoot the guy. And the guy is 100% unaware of your existence. I leave myself questioning. What would you do? Like, what what are you looking at? You didn't, First off, you didn't hear me. Second off, you, you didn't look at the big red dot that's right next to you. Like, I mean, you're really focused then on whatever you're shooting then. If you're not even, like, can't see a big red dot coming at you. So it was very interesting. I suggest you go into theater mode. Next time you play a game where someone goes, you know, something crazy like 1 in 22 or 1 in 32. Go into theater mode and watch it from his perspective. You will see some, you, it'll just be remarkable what you see. Um, and I got, I think, for next Throwback Thursday, I got some footage of a guy... I win a game thanks to somebody who made one of the worst decisions in Call of Duty history. This goes down as one of just the most bizarre decisions. Um, so make sure you do that. Now, I want to talk a little bit about Hazard right here. Uh, Hazard isn't one of my favorite maps per se uh, on Black Ops 1. It wasn't a good sign. I'm all confused right here. He has no clue what's going on. Uh, it wasn't really one of my favorite maps. And I want to throw up for discussion with you guys. Uh, what classes did you run on Hazard? Now, Kusai started off with the FAMAS. Uh, this was early. This was when Hazard like, first came out. He eventually switched over and he would use the G11. And he had some beast gains with the G11 on this map. I wasn't really a big G11 guy. I just wasn't good with it, period. So, I didn't have any beast gains. Like, look, check this out. One dude right there. And what is this guy doing? He turns around, looks at the dead body. Oh, no. Man, that is funny. So, I come over here with the commando hit fire. Um, so what class did you run on this, because I'm still curious, I'm still trying to learn, like, what is going on, like, Hussain apparently he kills, he told me he killed nine people here in 27 seconds or something like that, I don't know, I didn't keep count, but I can tell you what, man, there's gonna be some people leaving here soon, because this is just outrageous, Mr. Sniper right there, at least he's not sniping off the map, at least he's trying to snipe Hussain, and there we go, we managed to clear out that whole spot, and there you go, everyone disconnects the transmission now. So jot down in the comments below, man. What, what classes you run on, on Hazard, man? And what were some of your favorite Black Ops classes? I'm thinking maybe for a throwback Thursday when I go back to Black Ops or the old games, do like a little Manic Monday-ish, you know, use those classes you guys did. Because um, I was very static in what I used in this game. It was Hardline Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro, Hacker Pro, uh, and then the gun varied depending on the map every once in a while. But for my Oscar, Leal, Commando, uh, the AK, MP5K on a rare occasion were kind of 
yeah, you know, spas every once in a while. But I didn't really vary too much at all. Um, so I'd like to give it a shot. I'd like to go back and see what you guys did. Try that out and see see how I do. Now, it's a different game now, you know. There's not that much. Uh, I don't even know if there's that much of a challenge. But I played the other night. It was uh, I got some pretty tough lobby. So there's, there's still some people out there, man. There's still those guys that tattooed Black Ops 1 for life on their back, man. They, they ain't going to stop playing it, dude. Once you get that ish tattooed, you can't just take it out right there. And I gave you an edited version there of a curse one. That's very good. That's radio, man. You got to work on that. Um, so we're moving up over here through the end of this game. We saw he had a beast game here, man. 39 and 0. Uh, and a lot of it with this Enfield, man. The Enfield, you know, it's not a good gun. I'm not going to tell you it's a great gun. But it's not that bad, man. I guess it's a bad rap. Dude. The Enfield isn't that bad of a gun at all. Just managed to get one right there. My man right here. Once again, completely oblivious to everything going on around. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Spread the love out there. 39 and 0. Pretty good gameplay. Hope you all have a great Thursday, man.